the, in the game. Do you say things to deliberately cause a reaction? No, I, no look, I, I, I form an argument. I think about what I do. I, uh, I love the work I do for, for BT. I, you know, I work for a company who is deadly serious about Scottish football. And, you know, what we try and produce, we try and produce programmes and take it into people's front rooms and into pubs. And we talk about the big points. And, you know, we want to encourage debate. That's what that's, that's fundamentally what we do. And we try our best to do that. Do we get everything right? All the time, absolutely, absolutely not. When you're a pundit, you're there to be shot at, and I accept when I get when I get things wrong. But the stuff I've said about uh, Mark Warburton and Rangers, and I, I'm on Twitter now, uh, I haven't heard anybody come up with a, with an argument to the contrary, which you know is arguing a strong case for Rangers. You know, I'm, I'm led to believe that that uh, Derek Johnson the other night, uh, some of his comments about me deliberately trying to to cause contra controversy. Well, I work in the media now, and you've got someone sitting there next to you who's an embarrassment to the media profession. He's an apologist. He's a charlatan. He's a Rangers puppet. He's a cheerleader. That's what he is. And I don't mind everybody has their opinion, but this is a guy, you know, through the Craig White era, the Charles Green, the Ali McCoys, he's still backing Rangers. So, you know, at least I can go home and I can look in the mirror and say I'm trying to do my job properly. I saw Derek the other night uh, in the director's box. He took one look at me, and he popped out. You know, it, 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 it was embarrassing. All right, embarrassed Derek, well, listen, I've got to let Derek come back in on this. Well, for a start, I wasn't in the director's box, so he obviously couldn't have been looking. I mean, I, I'm, I'm the same, I'm the same Look, I'm as himself. An You're in, listen, no, listen, no, 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 listen like you've had your five minutes of nonsense. I'll, I'll take over now. The one thing that we all have in life is choice. And the, the choice for me now is when I'm watching the television, especially football, and it's BT, and it's a game I want to see, I'll watch it, but I'll turn the sound down because I think I get absolutely nothing from yourself. Absolutely nothing from yourself except negativity. That's all you get from you, Chris. I think you, you, I you think try, you're you try hold on, hold on. With, with you try and belittle it. When you're on the pitch at most of these grounds when you're there bef before the game, anybody says anything different to you, you ball and shout at them. You're the man. What you say is right. And I think that's ridiculous. You're talking about fellow well, footballers. Well, you hold on, hold on. You You've had your thing. You're talking about fellow footballers. You have no respect for them whatsoever. You're trying to make a name for yourself, which is fine. I don't think you're going the right way about it. Well, Derek, I, Derek, I certainly Derek, don't think you're going the right way about it. I'll tell you and, something. And, and you, For 25 and years, I've been doing football and I've been all over here doing commentaries and everything else. I have never Derek, once at and, and any ground in Scotland any or anywhere else... All right, Chris, I'll hold, let you come on. back in. Let Derek finish. I'll let you come back in, Chris. I have never ever had two security men follow me around the ground and stand beside me on a gantry. And that's exactly what happened what is, the other night. What, what is your point, though, Derek? What, have I, what, what has that got to do with anything I've said? You're a party political broadcaster, Derek. You're an embarrassment. You shouldn't be on well, the radio. Well, for you to for you to say before the game and even yes, before that, if Mark you, Warburton if loses, if Mark Warburton loses his next two games, do. he will be sacked. What a load of utter nonsense! Utter no That's your opinion, and you're entitled to it. I think it's utter nonsense. Well, that's, that's hardly forming an argument, Derek. Is well, it? Well, what do you mean? Well, of course, it's forming an argument. You're, you're, you're saying things, trying to get a reaction from people. Well, it's, uh, Derek, what, the, the problem you have is you don't tell the truth. It's as simple as that. You back Charles Green, you back Craig White. Oh, don't I mean, talk absolute rot. Absolutely embarrassing. Uh, that is absolute I mean, nonsense. It's Derek, it's How would you know that from down Derek, south that I was backing people? Everybody You're not even in this country. Celtic fan, every fan in Scotland, just tell the truth. Listen, people can't accuse me of, of being biased. You know, I formed an opinion on Ronnie Dyler in August, which people were forming at the end of the season. Yeah, which was a disgrace, so, by the way. Some of the things so, you were saying so, about the man, we can all we can all say he's, he's, he's not right for Celtic, he's poor, but the way you said it about that poor man, I, I think you, you absolutely came the man. It's called having an opinion. No, it's You're not. There, there's an opinion and there's going over the top. It. I think in terms of what uh, Chris had to say about Ronnie Dyla, whether it's him or any anybody else, we are all bound by the parameters of the law. So, uh, you know, Chris can go so far, but knows there's a line he cannot cross. I, I, 
you know, from a journalistic perspective, it stuck in the middle between a former player, two former players, now both in this side of the fence. Yeah, but one of us is you, one of us isn't, because what one of us is an embarrassment to the profession. Well, you can't help that. Because he, he doesn't have a balanced opinion. It, it, what a load of absolute to, right. to be fair, Chris, I, I, I have sat the here and... and troubles of Rangers, through the troubles of Rangers, you know, Ali McCoy's his mate, he didn't say anything derogatory about him. I mean, just tell the truth, Derek. That's what I did say. tell the truth. That is what I believed at the time, and I still do. Well, as you, much as you, as yeah. much as you are telling Porky's with some of the things you're you're trying to pull over on the television tell me, and on the radio you, and on the television, right, well, just made a statement. Back it up, then, Derek. What's what's the Porky then? Go on. Well, listen, listen. You're just somebody that I will not. I'm, well, I'm, I'm Derek, absolutely disgusted with I'm disgusted with myself. That I'm actually talking to you tonight because there's no respect you, whatsoever for you. Derek, Absolutely no respect whatsoever. All right, guys, I, I don't want this to get I don't want this to get too personal. Obviously, well, you've had it. It's personal. No, no, but you, personal. Yeah, no, but let's keep it in the realms of professionalism as well because we're all in the same we're all in the same industry. We might come at it from from different ways, different listen, aspects, Jerry, different, we'll, different we'll, approaches, listen, but Jerry, let's not get too personal. Listen, we've, we've all got opinions. I don't like his opinions. He doesn't like mine. Fine. End of story. I we just like agree not to like each other, don't like each other's opinions. Alright, Chris, um, listen, Tuesday night, I believe, you're back up in Glasgow? Yeah, I'd love Derek to come uh, on the 27th. It's at St Luke's. It'll be a good night. There'll be some so it'll be a question and answer, and there'll be some honest. Listen, I hope you make plenty so, of money out of it, but I certainly wouldn't be anywhere near it. That's a shame, Derek. Yeah, a shame. That would have been nice. Yeah. Uh, um, if people want to come along, are their tickets still available, Chris? I think there might be. There's certainly one for Derek uh, if he's not yeah, too yeah. busy, but we'll see. All right, Chris, let's, listen, thanks very much uh, for Thank taking you. the time. What about the Morton Aberdeen one, the other, the other semi final? Where, where do you see that one going? Can Morton cause a shock? Uh, no. That sums it up. It does indeed, Chris Sutton. Thanks very much. Uh, for